What's up guys, Aeon Bassoonist here to bring a new video to the channel and today we're going to be talking about plastic bassoons. And today I'm going to be kind of giving a uh, informational video so if you're a bassoonist definitely stick around because this is kind of good information. Um, if you're not a bassoonist feel free to stick around because you, you know obviously you're watching this channel because you're interested in music. Um, of course I'm not going to force you to watch this video because I, I physically can't. Um, <laughs> but definitely feel free to stick around for this video because it's a, it's a pretty informational video. So, getting into the video, the first thing that I want to say is that a plastic bassoon is not as good as a wood bassoon. And if you're buying like a China made wood bassoon, of course a plastic one, especially if it's a good plastic one, of course it's going to sound better. Strictly my opinion, there is no plastic bassoon that is as good as a wood bassoon. All right. That's, that's that. So to start with the first one, it is a budgetable instrument for um, people who are looking to just get a cheaper instrument, like teachers who want to fill up their band with bassoons, but they don't want to spend too much money, but plastic bassoons are the way to go. If you're a younger student who's looking to just have a bassoon to, of his own and because it'll feel more personal to have a bassoon of his own, plastic bassoons are the way to go. And with that, you're gonna get number two. You're gonna get a bassoon that will feel like any other bassoon, you're gonna have the same key configuration. You're gonna be able to put your hands in the same place and play the same scales that you normally would. And then you're gonna get number three. You're gonna get a bassoon that plays. Generally, you're gonna have a bassoon that can play F, G, A, B flat, so on and so on. You're gonna get a bassoon that'll be able to give you all the scales. You can play your solos on there and all this and that. All right, so this is where I kinda get to the negative aspect. When you're getting a budget instrument, you have to expect that you're going to get a lower quality bassoon. Don't get a plastic bassoon thinking it's cheaper and it's just as good. Like I mentioned in the beginning, and this is the reason why it was the first thing I said, a plastic bassoon is not as good as a wood bassoon. I don't want to be like, it'll never be as good, but you're just not going to get a plastic bassoon that can be comparable to a wood bassoon. Plastic bassoons are their own thing and you can't really compare it to a wood bassoon. So the next thing about plastic bassoons, because it's plastic, there's a lot of intonation problems that you'll find with plastic bassoons, especially if you get a cheaper one. There's a lot of intonation problems. The second thing is registers. With a bassoon, you have you know low register, mid register, and high register. Normally the middle registers are good. You you don't find too many problems with that. The, some of the biggest things I found with um, plastic bassoons is that in the lower register, they simply just don't resonate good enough or the notes don't come out because the P key work or the padding, I don't know what it would be, but they just don't come out as good. And so, to conclude this video, plastic bassoons are really something that you got to watch out for. If you're a student who is looking to advance themselves and you really want to get ahead, you want to take this to the next level in your high school or secondary school, and you possibly want to take it to college, do not buy a plastic bassoon. It is better to save up and purchase a wood bassoon. You're going to have much better experiences with a wood bassoon than you would with a plastic bassoon. And that is just a cold, hard fact. However, to counter that, um, if you're a student that just really wants his own bassoon but you're not going to get more into it, you just kind of want a cheaper instrument and you have the money to pay for it, go right ahead. Purchase a plastic bassoon because they will do the job of playing music. They will do the job of being able to play a scale, a 16th note run, you can, you can do whatever you want. They're just not the highest quality and so that's where you have to know where the line is. What do you want in a bassoon? Do you want the high quality bassoon? Do you want the low quality bassoon? And are you okay with the lower quality bassoon? That's where the line is drawn. And that's where you have to figure out where you are um, on that line, on that spectrum. If you are going to buy a plastic bassoon, whether if you watch this video and you end up buying a plastic bassoon, get branded plastic bassoons. Never buy an unbranded or unnamed plastic bassoon from eBay. They have those on there all the time. Do not buy them. Those bassoons are basically trash. Like they, 
they're not good at all. So do not purchase any unbranded bassoons from eBay or Amazon, whatever it may be. I don't care what where, what you're on. And the best plastic bassoon to buy, always take this, take this down. If you're looking for a good plastic bassoon, the best plastic bassoon that you can buy is a Fox 41 or 51 bassoon. They have the Fox 2 and 3, but it's really unnecessary to get it at that point. You might as well just get a a, a Fox 222. Budgetable, best plastic, plastic bassoon that you'll find out there. It sounds great. It sounds great. I, I really have nothing to complain about that bassoon. It's really good. It's good for what you're getting as a student model. So... That is going to conclude the video for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe down below. If you guys have any comments about what you think on plastic bassoons, please let, leave it in the comment section below. I would really like to know what you guys think and your opinions on plastic bassoons. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will see you guys next time. See you later.